A bit bigger than any in this village, though. That's your oh, name? Nathan. Nathan and Seamus. Okay. At Elephant Sanctuary, Stuart tells us about the elephants that live there and how they ended up here. Now, the three from Botswana, as I said, were supposed to go to the Far East to join a circus. But the guy who wanted to take them out of the country, his paperwork, didn't comply with the act and the elephants got stuck in the airport for three months in containers. Wow. Okay, so that's basically where the century stepped in. And we took them in, so we're raising them, grooming them, until they're ready to go back into the wild again. The elephants are very intelligent. They build up memory, they keep it in here. Okay. An elephant named Jabu yes. um, opens the gate in the morning, and at night, when she knows everything's safe, she closes it back up with her trunk. And elephants on intelligence level, they're on level three. Monkeys, level two. Us, human beings, level one. So if the elephants can get the monkeys out of the way, they'll be the next guys to go to the moon. Okay. <laughs> we get more than a handshake. They place their trunks in our hands and go for a walk hand in trunk. The trunks are slimy. <laughs> walking elephants. In the forest, they introduce each elephant and show them a special skill they've been working on and explain how it's useful in the wild. My elephant name is Marula. Marula, she is 18 years old. She weighs 2.8 tons. She's a good girl. She listens to me and I can show you. Marula, kneel down. Oh my gosh! All elephants can do that. Okay, when they go out into the forest to go dig for roots, obviously, their tasks are to eye up. Their tasks are the digging tool. So for them to lower themselves to the ground, they go down on the wrist, okay, and then that way, they dig for roots. How does that go? No, it didn't blow out her ears. She stuck her trunk back so there and blew out her trunk. Oh! And it flapped her ear. I thought it blew out her ear. So now when they're feeding or when they're eating, it's difficult for them because standing, can pick up a food. Okay, these two girls, they must suck their food. So when they suck the food from the ground, stones and dust goes into the trunk. So they'll blow to get rid of the stones and the dust. Can you shake? Oh my God! They shake to throw the water out of the ears. Or so sometimes when they get caught in a fight, okay, then they open the ears, start shaking. That way they appear bigger than the opponent. Okay, or when we take game drives to tell us, listen here, you're getting too close, you need to back off. So this is the tongue of an elephant there. Eh? Did you see that? Thank you. Oh. It's trying to get around its tail. Not too close, Seamus. Don't go too close. And for them holding your, holding your hand, it's like holding another tail. Back out on the field, the kids get to feed elephants. And test out their skills as a trainer. Blow. <laughs> and finally, we climb a very high platform. African elephants are very tall, so we can ride them. And as I watch this sunset elephant ride, I think about how lucky we are to have discovered this part of Africa and all its creatures. From the tiny meerkats near Outshorn to these majestic giants before us. And I know how grateful I am that the kids will always have these amazing memories to share with their grandma.